guys. Today we are going to be making pumpkin banana bread. All right, so for this recipe, you are going to need um, flour, baking soda, vanilla extract, pumpkin. Make sure you get pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. You're going to need salt, pumpkin pie spice, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, four eggs. Um, the recipe calls for four bananas. I only have three. It's fine. You're going to need two sticks of melted butter, cooled. You want it to be cooled off before you make it. Brown sugar, regular sugar. First things first, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right. So in our larger bowl, we're gonna put in our, I cannot talk, we're gonna put in our bananas and we're gonna mash them. Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here real quick and let you guys know that this was filmed in, I think, February, but I saved it for here now. Pumpkin. So I need... Oh, I am so tired today, guys. I need two cups of pumpkin, so four half cups. And I don't know how much is in a can, so it's okay. We, we're probably gonna have some extra and I'll just give that to the dog because pumpkin is actually good for dogs. So almost a whole can. There's probably about another three fourths of a cup in there maybe. All right, so we're gonna give that to Stitch here in a little bit. And then, okay, so after the pumpkin, you're gonna add the melted butter, this is two sticks of butter cooled. Also note that I doubled the recipe because reading it, it made it sound like it only made one loaf pan and I wanted to make two loaf pans at least because I want to freeze one. All right, and then you're going to add brown sugar, regular sugar, and eggs, which means I need to clean how much brown sugar? One cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. Let me clean the half cup real quick. All right, so we're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. And I like to make sure it's packed. If this ends up making more than two loaf pans, I'll let you guys know because I'm gonna have to make three and then the last one or however many more. But like I said, the, the way they described it in the instructions, it was making one loaf pan. large eggs now let's just to be honest there's no such thing as a large egg and I'm gonna I'm contemplating adding a fifth egg just because these eggs are kind of small they are labeled as large eggs but they are definitely a lot smaller than the eggs I've gotten in the past which I get it we are having an egg shortage and eggs are scarce as it is but hmm. yeah I'm gonna add one more 
I'll just feel better because a couple of those were like really small eggs. All right. So again, cooking isn't an exact science. All right, so now we're, oh, and vanilla, sorry, vanilla. Vanilla, we need two teaspoons. One, two. You can measure if you want. I don't hardly ever measure vanilla. And that's my homemade vanilla extract. I have a video coming out on it. All right, so then we're gonna, my energy is like, down today guys but I have so much to do this week I don't I don't have time to wait until I have an energetic day to do anything plus the bananas were getting to be on their last leg so I definitely have to get this done today I also have to fit in I have to film my Valentine's home decor and um, what else do I need? I need to post the Valentine's Home Decor and then, well, edit it and then get it ready to post, I should say, scheduled. And then I need to, which you're probably going to see this in July at this rate, who knows. I'm going on vacation, well, I'm calling it a vacation. I'm going up to Indiana in March. For my mom's um, the anniversary of her passing, I was originally only planning on going up for a few days, um, but now it looks like I will be there for almost two weeks. So I'm going to take my laptop. I'm going to get a lot of editing done. So that's my goal anyway. Because my brother, I'm sure, is going to have to work. Both of them. It's not like I have anyone to hang out with up there. I, I mean, I don't. All right, so we're gonna set this aside. Sorry. This switch angles, cause I forget this angle sucks. This is usually the angle you guys can see me doing stuff at. All right, so let's put the garbage bowl here. I don't think I'm gonna need it again but we'll see all right so in a medium bowl we're going to mix our flour we need three cups of all-purpose flour which is all i buy so baking soda which is two teaspoons I'm actually gonna measure that so let me get my teaspoon I want to get the kitchen um, stuff done eventually this week well at least what I can two teaspoons if I didn't say that of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt I'm gonna try it because pepper sometimes gets in there. So this, there we go. And then cinnamon, which I don't understand why we're putting cinnamon in that my and pumpkin pie spice. But again, this isn't my normal recipe. I couldn't find mine in my cookbook or my homemade cookbook that I have, which. So two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and 
one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And I did a kind of a heaping teaspoon because I like the flavors of that. All right, make sure. And then we're going to mix this. I'm going to clean the fork off. And I'll mix this together. All right, so we're going to have to switch to wood. It does say you can use a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon. I'm going to use a wooden spatula. Um, you're going to add your flour mixture into your wet ingredients. It doesn't say sparingly or in increments or all that stuff. It just says add and then to mix it in with a wooden spoon or you can use a rubber spatula. What gets me does this have a streusel topping? Oh yeah, this has a streusel topping. So we'll be doing that here in a minute. This is 10 or 15 strokes. There's no way that you're getting this incorporated in 10 or 15 strokes. Because then it's like, it's okay if you have visible, a few flower pockets visible. Uh, what? <laughs> I guess it's just me. I would rather not have any flower. See, I'm already probably at 10 to 15 strokes and that's more than a few flower pockets. So I'm wondering if that, that's the directions for a single batch because like I said, I doubled it on the computer and like you know how you, before you print it you, you that you pick like your serving sizes and stuff so I doubled it um, but the only thing that changed is the ingredients like the directions don't change so you got to be kind of careful that you're paying attention to both all right that looks And then prepare the loaf pan. I'm debating if I'm going to um, just spray these or if I'm going to put parchment. Let's, let's do both. All right. So we're going to. on these are not great. We're, we're going to spray just so that you know it's easier to stick the parchment in. I'm going to parchment. Okay. Might even spray the parchment. I don't expect these gloves to come out beautiful. I really don't. It is what it is. All right, and then 
we're gonna put these in the loaf pan and then we gotta make a streusel topping that I forgot all about so you can probably actually forego the streusel topping as well Maybe the parchment paper was a bad idea. I feel like I need to get a rubber spatula. Sure, not to have to dirty more dishes, but oh, well. hold on. All right. I don't know if there would have been a more eloquent way to uh, put this parchment in, but. Is what it is at this point. Alright, let's spread this. Yeah. You're definitely going to get um, two loaves. So one serving is one loaf. And also, I don't have a pumpkin banana bread recipe. I was just going to add pumpkin to my my original banana bread recipe. So, we'll see how this turns out. And I'm going to make a streusel topping. Even though I said you don't need to, I want to. So, we're going to do that. Actually, we're going to forego the shrusa topping because it does call for cold butter, but mine is completely frozen and I don't feel like fighting it. So, <laughs> um, we're going to put this in the oven 350 for, I believe it was 50 minutes. Let me double check. Um, 50 minutes to an hour and five minutes. So, we're going to start with 55 minutes on my timer just because I know how my oven cooks if you know how your oven cooks it'll help kind of determine how long to cook all right we'll be back all right it's been 55 minutes Whew, sorry I'm going to check them Mm -hmm. I think we're going to leave them in for an additional, the additional 10. All right. So I cooked them for the full hour and five minutes. This one's still got a little bounce, but I think, you know, it'll firm up. So like it's not as jiggly as it was. So I'm hoping this one is definitely done. But this one, I don't understand. I put, <laughs> I felt like I put about the same amount in each, but I'm going to let them sit in the pan and cool. And actually, I'm going to stick this one back in the oven. Um, the oven is off, so I'm going to stick it in while it's cooling to let it finish cooking. All right, so... This one's been cooling for a while. It's still a little warm. This one finally set up. I took out the oven a while ago. Whoops. Uh, 
All right, so it's apparently not cooled enough to take out of the parchment paper, but I want to taste it, so. Ooh, yeah, see, it's hot. Hmm. It tastes like banana bread. I don't taste the pumpkin at all. which is a little bit disappointing because uh, I was hoping that it would kind of taste like the pumpkin loaf. But it just tastes like banana bread. And it could very well be just this piece. Here you go. Well, let it cool and I'll try it again.